45 AI Week continues this morning here on Erie News Now Sunrise. It's seemingly everywhere these days. Uh, one of those places where you may not expect to see artificial intelligence, at least not so prominently, is healthcare. Yeah, things are changing, and that's why we turned to our Jacob Brooks this morning live in our studio. Uh, you talked the last half hour about how AHN is using AI. Now let's get into the risk versus the reward of that. So we'll get into that in a second, but first let me walk you through the basics. So artificial intelligence, it's good to know that it is a broad term. It's actually been around for decades, but up until this point it's been used for mostly math and data type things. And it lets computers do human tasks. That's the definition of AI. But what is new with AI is the generative AI, like ChatGPT. And AHN has started to incorporate that into their work on top of the AI that they've been using for a while. So Dr. Ashish Barad is a doctor and AHN's chief digital officer and you know a big part of his job is figuring out the best ways to use AI. AHN has started to use it more and he says some of the benefits of them using it are things like doing paperwork so they can clear up time with their patients, also helping with burnout. That's something we've talked a lot about since COVID. A risk he said about using AI is before it's ready and potential trust issues with medical staff and patients. So they've been interviewing patients to see how they feel about all this. Here's why. We can be very responsible about making sure we communicate and we think about things the right way that, that meet people where they are. Well, you said there are some risks of not using AI. Can you explain that one for us? Yeah, so as the technology gets more advanced, he says we actually might end up missing stuff because there's only so much a human can do. So he brought up the example of like radiology when you're looking at x-rays and stuff. When AI can like overlay the two images and can detect things that maybe we can't because he said, you know, our radiologists are great, but humans can only go so far and they have so much work to do so it can help pick up things that we miss. An extra layer of protection there. Yeah, yes. and I think like we're kind of just hitting the tip of the iceberg when it comes to artificial intelligence's use in, for sure. uh, within healthcare. Thank you, for Jacob sure. Brooks, yep. for all of that.